Yesterday, Rachel Notley laughed off an offer of a million bucks for her to resign. It came from the outspoken businessman. O'Leary says the premier doesn't have the chops to dig our province out of its financial hole or save the energy industry. What I hear is, let's raise taxes, let's mess around with royalty rates, let's talk about more carbon initiatives. That's not saving an industry, that's killing one. My next guest spent years calling Kevin O'Leary out on national television. Calgary venture capitalist Arlene Dickinson spent eight seasons as an investor on the Dragon's Den. I'm happy to say she's joining us here in studio. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So first off, your thoughts on uh, Mr. O'Leary's offer to the Premier and his comments about how she's handling the economy. Well, you know what, that negative criticism is not constructive. It's not helpful in any way, and it's really typical of Kevin's bombastic you know, style. Like, really, I, I'm not sure what he was hoping to accomplish because at the end of the day, this is not Premier Notley's issue. She did not create the recession. She inherited the recession, and she's trying to implement the very platform that we elected her on. So, you know, honestly, if Kevin O'Leary's comments are going to change her mandate whatsoever. You called them disrespectful, the comments. I did call them disrespectful. They were disrespectful. And disrespectful not only to Notley, but you think Albertans as a whole. 100%. I mean, Albertans gave Premier Notley a majority government. We voted. Kevin O'Leary didn't vote. Kevin O'Leary didn't have anything to do with it. So it is very disrespectful to think that we made a wrong choice. Why do you think he did it? Because uh, he likes headlines and because he probably, f you know, feels somehow that he's entitled to that opinion, which of course he is, but he's become the Donald Trump of Canada. Or maybe he's trying to compete with Donald Trump in the U.S. because he's spending a lot of time down there, so who knows. And her response to what he said, what would you think of that? I think it was, uh, you know what I liked about it is that she didn't dwell on him. She, you know, moved on. She made her comment and kind of left it there and, you know, dismissed it and said, what right do you have? And, you know, what good is going to come from these comments? None. It's actually casting a negative pall over Alberta, which already does, you know, not, does not need any more negativity cast on it. There are some, I, I know you know, uh, in this city who may not say what he said, but sort of feel some frustration with this government and yes. where the economy is going. Um, are you comfortable with where the NDP is taking the province economically? Listen, I, I'm a capitalist. I'm a businesswoman. I, you know, I, I don't agree with everything that the government is doing right now, but I do appreciate and believe that some of the positive steps that Premier Notley is taking are very good. So she has put $2 billion to work through ATB and AIMCO to help with innovation and entrepreneurial um, support. She has put tax credits towards hiring of Albertans. These are positive steps. You can't give her after seven months, you can't judge her hook, line and sinker and say she has not done everything she said she would do. Um, whether or not I agree with everything she said as I, or done, uh, as I said, I, you know, of course I don't because of the kind of person I am. I believe in wealth creation and I believe that that should be everybody's right and opportunity. Doesn't mean that she doesn't. We just go about it maybe a little bit differently in some cases. And you think um, Ottawa actually should be doing more for our province right now? Yes, there is very little venture capital money coming into Alberta. This is something we really need. There's a lot of VC money available through the federal government and it's not coming into the province the way we need it. And why do you think that is? Uh, you know, uh, I think in the past it rel probably hasn't been as necessary because we have relied on ourselves, right? And, you know, I've been uh, an Albertan for many, many years, for <laughs> over 50 years. I've lived through four recessions, and we have talked about diversifying our economy forever, but we really haven't had to need to be able to, sorry, we, we haven't needed to do that until now, and it's going to be tough to do. It's not easy to diversify an economy. It takes venture capital money. It takes high net worth individuals investing in the economy. I'm putting millions of dollars into this economy. Why? Because I'm an Albertan. I'm a proud Westerner. I believe in it. Other people will do it too. Nice to see this proud Westerner back on TV, Arlene. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Nice to be back.